Cinderella ran out of the prince's ball and found the stairs covered in tar. To leave something for the prince, Cinderella stuck a golden dancing shoe to the stairs. It turns out that fairy tales are deceiving. The glass slipper didn't fall off Cinderella as she fled, but she deliberately dropped one herself. Then Cinderella carried the other shoe, ran into the black forest, and met a bread woman who was looking for golden shoes. To run faster, Cinderella gave the other shoe to the bread woman. The prince was chasing after her on horseback, but Cinderella was waiting for her prince at home. When the prince came to Cinderella's house, her two sisters were stuffing their feet into the shoe. What Cinderella didn't know was that the prince had a chaotic private life and often brought various girls home to cook. And where could Cinderella be pure and innocent? While she was combing her sister's hair, she deliberately made them feel pain. She's really innocent on the surface, but cunning in her heart, a scumbag and a t truly a match made in heaven.